Hi. I'd like to talk to you about frozen shoulder. Frozen shoulder is called a piece of capsulitis in medical terminology. And what happens is that you start to have an, um, pain in your shoulder. Usually the pain is caused by a small injury. Don't know what it is. I've had three patients where it happened where their dog uh, tugged on the leash really quickly. And then a few days later, they started to have pain. And what happens with the pain is that you don't want to move your shoulder. And over time, what happens is that you start to lose motion in your, your joint. The issue with the pain is that it is so much worse at night. So it affects your sleep and affects your ability to heal. I've had um, a number of patients who received uh, a steroid shot in order to treat their, their frozen shoulder without any relief. And so I suspect that one frozen shoulder isn't just like every other frozen shoulder. And so the role of how to go about treatment, treating it, um, um, requires that you keep thinking about what the different causes are. We know that frozen shoulders can improve the treatment of the nerves that surround the shoulder, and I've seen some drastic improvements with uh, uh, the lift-off technique, um, with neural fascia types of things, um, with trigger point um, releases, especially of the pec muscle, which um, causes that shoulder to come forward, and when it does that, it, uh, it affects um, the movement as well. And, uh, and then I've used other things like, um, polar therapy, which is a, a treatment that normally you would think is inflammatory promoting. For some reason, I'm able to treat the, uh, ligamentous structures that surround the joints. And once we get them stronger and healing, then, uh, the rest of the joint follows. I'm Dr. Jennifer Stebbing, and I've had a frozen shoulder, and I haven't I wasn't able to treat it with steroids at the time because I was nursing. And so I had to pursue treatments that were non-steroid um, based. Uh, and uh, I was able to recover. The shoulder is still not perfect, which I think is true in many types of shoulder situations. Um, but it, I never lost motion, which was uh, a sign that my massage therapist and my physical therapist did a great job. I'm a board certified family physician and sports medicine physician, and I can tell you that having experienced frozen shoulder, I'm really good at treating it as well. Please uh, contact me at info at drstudying.com if you have any other questions, and I'll send you another video on, on shoulder pains and ways to treat it.